Big Apple, Italy. Fiat goes Gucci. Ram hits the trail. These are some of the stories happening this week under the Pentastar. An Italian invasion of sorts in the Big Apple. Times Square was Fiat Central over the weekend, with more than 30 Fiat 500s and Cabrios lined up along Broadway that visitors to the event were invited to climb in and check out. The Simply More by Fiat experience also kept the Italian flavor going with live music, an espresso bar, and a bocce ball court as visitors enjoyed feature films on a giant jumbotron overlooking the square. The best seats in the house for viewing turned out, of course, to be the Fiat vehicles themselves. The Simply More by Fiat tour travels next to Chicago, Miami, and Los Angeles. New York crowds will soon get to see another side of Fiat, born of a partnership between the brand and couture icon Gucci. The collaboration was born in Rome, actually during a, a very fun lunch together with Lapo. When Lapo came and proposed me this uh, wonderful idea to combine these two iconic and strong uh, Italian brands. Gucci brought energy, pace, freshness, coolness, elegance, refinement to a mythical product and two mythical brands married together to bring to birth an incredible and amazing car. The stylish limited edition version will debut September 8th during New York Fashion Week and be available at Fiat Studios nationwide in December. Well, Ram Trucks hit the trail with journalists attending the Professional Outdoor Media Association Conference in Ogden, Utah at The Wheel. Riders covering all sorts of outdoor sports, including hunting, fishing, boating, and shooting, were given a chance to learn about and take a spin on three Ram truck models, including the Outdoorsman, 2500 Diesel, and Power Wagon, on a loop through Fort Buenaventura Park, the site of Utah's first settlement. And finally, the winning streak continued for Penske Racing at Watkins Glen, New York last weekend. Kurt Busch, filling in for injured teammate Brad Keselowski, racked up a victory in Keselowski's number 22 Ruby Tuesday discount tire Dodge. The win was Busch's third nationwide series victory in 12 career starts. And a rain-delayed Monday morning start in the Sprint Cup Hell of a Good Sour Cream Dips race at the Glen saw Keselowski and his number two Miller Lite Dodge capture the number two finish behind Marcus Ambrose. Kurt Busch finished 38th in his number 22 Shell Pennzoil Dodge. And a big finish for Sam Hubinette and Ricky Johnson for Mopar in the Off-Road Traxxas Torque Championship Series. Both Mopar Ram truck drivers were victorious on Sunday at Michigan's Bark River International Raceway. Reporting for Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Betty Carrier Newman.